Hey everybody, welcome back to Everything Tech, and today we're going to be creating an installer disk with Windows 10. Before we get started, you want to make sure you have a DVD. Now, I am going to be using a DVD for this installation, but if you want to use a USB drive, you can. The only thing you have to worry about for both the DVD and the USB is that they're at least 4 gigs in storage. So it can be more than 4 gigs, but it can't be any less than 4 gigs. So once you have that out of the way, another thing you're going to have to worry about is whether or not the Windows, Windows 10 requires a product key, because I do know that if you did upgrade from 7 or 10, I mean from 7 or 8, it automatically updates or activates the copy of Windows for you using that uh, product key that you use then. So you just gotta make sure that you have your product key for Windows and you have to know which version of Windows that product key belongs to. So if it's a home product key, you can't use a Windows 10 Pro with the home product key and vice versa. So you gotta make sure you know which copy you are to download. And to download it, we're just gonna go ahead and jump into Google here. And we're going to Google Windows 10 ISO, and we're going to go ahead and click the first link here, which is a Windows 10 disk image ISO file. And once you do click on that there, you do get this uh, window here. You, this one actually is the one you get, where you can select 7, 8, or 10. I do have tutorials for both 8 and 7 down in the description if you care to take a look at those or if those are relevant to you. But we're going to be doing 10. And once you're in 10 here, you can either update or download the tool. Now we're going to be doing the downloading the tool because that's how you are going to create the, the DVD. But if your computer, the one you want to do this installation on is running a 7 or 8.1 or an older version of Windows 10, you can go ahead and click this and it will begin the update process to the creator's update. And um, I'm just going to look here for um, using the tool and stuff like that, which version you can upgrade to. You can go ahead and download the tool, which I've already done. It's a very lightweight application. It doesn't require too much and it's going to ask us if we want to have this application make changes to our computer, which is why the screen went black. So once we see the application here, it says getting a few things ready. And this is what the application looks like. It looks very similar to the Windows 8.1 application we took a look at in the previous uh, tutorial. Although they do different things, they do those things in a similar manner. All we have to do here is accept the terms and conditions. And you can either upgrade your current PC or you can create the installation media. Since we're going to be doing this option, this is what we're going to go with. But if you want to upgrade the current computer you have to Windows Windows 10. I just click on upgrade, although I do recommend a clean install because it's, it makes your computer run a little faster sometimes. This is what we're going to be doing. We click next and it automatically selects which version of Windows 10 to download based on the current computer. But if you're going to be installing this on a different computer and you know exactly what you need, just uncheck this box here and you can make any changes. I'm going to keep this uh, the language in English but you can change it to whichever language you want. And for addition, we're gonna do Windows 10 Pro, which should be this one here. I'm, I'm not seeing Windows 10 Pro here at all, but uh, if you have home, this is the home version right here. And if you have the Windows 10 N version, this is the one you have here. Now this is what I mean when you, you have to know what version of Windows goes with your product. You, you don't wanna do home when you qualify for Pro or you did Pro and you downloaded home. So we're gonna go ahead and do Pro because that's the product key that I have. As for 64 or 32 bit or both, if you do both, it's gonna download both 32 and 64 bit together, put them together in a package, and then put those in an ISO file. And it will take a little longer, or a lot longer, depending on how slow your internet is, to make that and uh, package it up and make it an ISO file for you. And given that most modern computers are more than three gigs of RAM, you should be fine with 64 bit. Although if you do have a computer with less than uh, three gigs of RAM, you may want to download just a 32 bit. So we're gonna go ahead and check, check 64 bit, click next. And this is where you select whether you want a USB drive or an ISO file. If you use a USB drive, it looks through your computer and it looks for flash drives. If it finds one, you can use it. Keep in mind though that you are gonna have to format that USB drive so you may want to back up accordingly then you make the USB flash drive everything's automatic and once it's done your USB drive is ready to use but we're gonna be doing the DVD so we're gonna download the ISO file so we're gonna go ahead and click next it's gonna ask us where we want to save this copy of Windows and then we're gonna click Save and it starts downloading the copy of Windows 10 that we previously selected. So keep in mind that it may take a while to download and get everything ready, depending on how slow or how fast your internet is. So we're just gonna sit back, relax, and I'll see you back when this thing is done.
Okay, so the ISO file is finally complete, and now we can either burn it to a DVD or just keep the ISO file to ourselves. And we're gonna go ahead and open the DVD burner. And once you do, it's gonna say which image file you're burning to where in case you have more than one DVD drive connected. And the status here is this little bar is gonna fill up depending on how far, far along the burn process you are. Now before you click burn, I do recommend you click on verify disk after burning. This will verify that the disk is functional after it's done burning, just in case there was a problem during the process of the burn. And it will tell you there's something wrong with the disk and you need to do this again and just allow you to do it again. But it's always good to check this just for safety. And we're gonna go ahead and start burning. Although I will check the disk once it's done burning on my own just to make sure that the computer reads it as an installer disk. So we're gonna go ahead and continue with the burn process and we'll see you after it's done. We are in the final stages here of the verification process and my DVD drive just ejected the disk and um, a bunch of stuff is coming up here but you can, you can just go ahead and ignore this and we have successfully created the disk and now we can go ahead and close this and finish it. Now keep in mind that when you do create the disk to keep your DVD drive uh, tray area clear because your DVD drive will eject the disk once it's done and just keep in mind what you put there because it may not, it may not be able to uh, open the door if you have your, your desktop inside a closed uh, compartment there or if your laptop there's a phone next to it it might not be able to push it out of the way and it could damage your DVD drive so just keep that in mind I just put the DVD back into the computer and I'm gonna go ahead and wait to see if the computer reads it as a disk that you use to install Windows so once that verification is complete we'll just go ahead and end the video and there we go the computer is currently reading this as a Windows 10 uh, installer disk although nothing on here says that it's a Windows 10 except that I know it is because I just made the disc so maybe when you pull out the disc make sure to label it so you know in case you have more than one and with that being said thank you all for watching if uh, you're interested in uh, taking a look at the Windows 8 or the Windows 7 installation tutorial or media creation uh, tutorials they will be linked down below and I'll also link down below uh, this website here as well as this one here not this one this one this one will be linked down below as well as this one here so you can take a look at all three versions of Windows that you want to download. So again, with that being said, thank you all for watching and see you all in the next video.